poppy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because i have another haul from sweetie nail supply and today i'm going to be reviewing some of their marble inks and so um let's hop right on into this unboxing so this is what was sent to me i'm super excited to be testing out more of more products from the sweetie nail supply website if you all don't know they are canadian based they're an online website that sells primarily like korean based products that are and other unique products that are really hard to find here in the states shipping is really fast this product product got to me within like two to three days customer service is phenomenal um uh, but this here is the thank you card that they include in all of their um packages as well as their handles for their website and social media and here you can scan for more information about them um this here is okay <laughs> excuse me i'm not sure what this is oh is this another display card okay, how does this work? i think this is a display card for oh is this how you store them stop it right now how cute is this okay so i think this is how you store the inks and then on the front i think you put the swatches of the inks right here how cute is that like a little display thingamajig I'm pretty sure that's how that goes, but we'll see. But that is the first thing that I see here. And then this here are the marble inks themselves. I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side. I love their packaging. Everything comes uh, well protected. Let's get a closer look at this, okay? So, I'm going to try to carefully open this up here. Nice. Do y'all love bubble wrap too? I used to, when I was a kid, I used to love playing with bubble wrap and listening to what it's called. Okay. So this here is one, two. This here is the entire collection. These look really nice. Wow. Looks like it's like a muted tone collection. So this is called the uh, Favori, the Favori, and it's called Unforgettable Mood. Be your own muse. First off, the boxing packaging on this is cute. It says the Muse Ink Collection, and then on the side, I love that it's like embossed with the word the Muse Collection. The Favori naturally shines through the true color. Okay, so I'm gonna get all of these unboxed. And we'll get into some swatches, okay? Ooh, very nice. How cute is this? Love the label. All right, you guys. So these are all of the colors here. These are absolutely stunning. Wow, this collection is beautiful. So can't tell how big these are so I'm not sure how big these are but they are bigger than the marble inks that I recently got from Madame Glam at least the bottle is tall yeah it's a bigger bottle for sure so I'm assuming these probably are like 10 ml because these bottles are 5 ml but yeah this collection looks gorgeous so let's take a closer look at all of these and then we'll get to doing some swatching okay this collection does look like it comes with three different greens so that's a lot of greens for one collection. And then we have these colors here. So I'm gonna start off with this beautiful pink. Again, I love the packaging on this. I'm not 100% sure of the size of them. Oh, it's six ml. How is this six ml? Huh, okay. Um, so this is six ml. It says it here on the box. Everything else is written in a different language, but I do see the number there. Um, they have a ball in it, so I'm gonna just shake them all up. But yeah, loving the packaging on this. It's nice and sleek. I love that tan, tan handle. I love that gold right here. And the color looks really, the juice in here looks really nice and opaque. Um, so yeah, let's take a closer look. Hmm, very nice, okay. So this one looks a little bit, so this one looks like a light pink color here. And 
I forgot to get the name on it. Again, these are kind of hard to see. The color on this one is Garnet Pink. Next color we have here is Topaz Blue. Ooh, this is a really nice blue. It's like a nice royal blue. Very pretty. Charlotte Purple. Mm, very pretty purple ink here. Very true to color. And I actually, I just read the box here. It says that these polishes or these marble inks are made in Tokyo. So that's pretty cool. Next we have this color Peridot Olive. And on the back here, there's some little, some yellow in it. So I'm going to go ahead and shake it up, make sure we get the correct color here. Okay, it looks like this color definitely needs to be mixed up a little more. You can still see kind of that yellow on the inside here. I don't know if y'all can see that there. Um, so I'm gonna continue to mix that up just to kind of get it to give its true color, but it looks like a really nice deep green color. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a really nice deep green color. And it kind of gives me like the color of grass almost, so that's pretty. Topaz Jade, okay. This also looks like it needs some mixing up, but it looks like a mint green color. Very pretty. I don't have any marble inks like this for sure. Well, I don't have a lot of marble inks in, in general, but this one's very pretty. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Nice little mint green color. Very, very pretty. It's like a muted mint green. Very nice. And then last but not least is emerald green and actually this one gives more of the color grass this one is like a like a deeper green so give this one a quick shake very pretty so yeah a nice light green color so i am going to go ahead and get these swatched out um like i said this did come with this card here i'm almost wondering is this supposed to be like i said stored like this well, I'm guessing like maybe if you went shopping at the store and bought this there, maybe they they package it and give it to you like this. I'm honestly not sure what this is for. Maybe it's just to sit out and that be the card like that, like on display like this. I think that's what it's for. So that's cute. Super cute, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch them out on this card here. Um, and yeah, we'll get into some, get into some swatches here. Okay, so the first color here is the Garnet Pink. Okay. Next is the Topaz Blue. That's really pretty. Charlotte Purple. Topaz Jade. Very cute. Yeah, that Jade Green is cute. I like that a lot. Next we have Emerald Green. I like these cards for swatching out the inks too. And last but not least is Peridot, Peridot Olive. Very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, these are some gorgeous colors. And again, I love this little card for the display. I think that's so cute. And again, I think it's meant to kind of go on here like this, but I'm gonna just have this out in the nail room near wherever I store my ink so that I can have a quick look at them. But yeah, this is really nice. It's 
cute. It's a really pretty collection. I can't say that I would have chosen this on my own, but I'm glad they sent this because these are colors I would not have picked for myself, but they're very, very pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch out some whites on a swatch stick. Um, and I'm going to put a mat. I'm going to do two coats of a white and a matte. And we'll get into playing around and creating some looks with these beautiful colors. Okay. So I have a couple of swatch sticks that are um, just white with a matte top coat. So I'm going to get into um, playing around with some of these marble inks. For the marble inks though, what you'll need is a 3D nail art brush. So this has been my go-to one for marbling nails. And uh, you'll also just need a little bit of acetone. So I have some here in a cup. I'm going to have that off to the side. I also have a napkin here to just dab off my brush as I'm playing around with the marbles but um, these are the two colors I'm gonna go in with first I'm gonna go in with Garnet Pink and Charlotte Purple and let's see what look we can create so when playing with marble inks um, I found that it's easier to just um, just put the marble onto the nail kind of haphazardly like wherever you feel like um, you want it to be and then you go in with the other color and you just kind of put it in between all oh, these colors look really similar on the nail you just kind of put it all over the nail and then you'll take your acetone and just kind of move the marbles around on the nail kind of however you want it to be um, I like to kind of not dab off any of the acetone off my brush and just let the um, acetone kind of do its thing These are a little bit waterier than the uh, ones that I use for Madame Glam. The ones from Madame Glam is actually my first experience with marble inks. And I feel like I like that uh, opacity of them a little bit more. These ones are very light colored, but it's still very cute though. It's a little bit harder to get the veins in this one, I would say. So you could just kind of play around with it until you get the desired look. That looks like a pretty cool look to me. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So I'm gonna let that continue to dry. So that's the purple and pink. Next, I'm gonna go in with the topaz blue and the emerald green. And again, you'll do the exact same thing. You'll just go in and kind of just put the color on the nail wherever you want it to be. And then you'll offset it with the other color. Oh, these two look good together. Wow, that's cute like so and then I'll take my acetone and I'm just gonna dab it onto the nail and kind of let the colors do what they want and I'll dab off any excess that I see This one I feel like it's easier to just kind of like guide the product so it's almost like you want to go in and just take out what you don't need with these marble inks. I'm going to add a little bit more green here, just put some up here, put a little bit more up in here, don't need too much though. I like that. Yeah, that's cute. I'm going to add just a dab of blue right here. Not too much, but just a smidge. I'm going to put the acetone on it, kind of let it disperse out a little bit. I like that. Okay, so that's the blue and green. Next, I'm going to go in with the Peridot Olive and the Topaz Jade and create a quick look. Alrighty. So again, you'll do the same thing. You go in with the color of choice and just put it on the nail where you want it to be. Like so. And then you'll take your second color. see what we can do with this one. Actually, 
first I'm going to start with just dabbing some of the product off. I'm going to take my brush and just let the acetone do its thing. Okay. I don't even mind just like moving the acetone around a little bit to kind of just get it to create a look. And I'm going to use my brush and just dab off what I don't need. Honestly happy with how that turned out too. Play around just a little bit more. That's cute. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. pretty okay this is what all the nails are looking like matte i think these marbles turned out really good though like these are really easy to work with like i said they're a little bit more watery than what i'm used to with marble inks but they still perform very very beautifully i'm going to go ahead and top coat all of them and then we'll get closer looks okay This is how the nails turned out. They're absolutely gorgeous, you all. I love how these marble inks perform. Um, like I said, they're slightly different than marble inks that I've used in the past, but you still get a really beautiful soft marble with them. And I actually, I used the Madame Glam marble inks on my nails um, when I did this set. And you can see they're very opaque. Some of these I didn't even um, thin out enough with the acetone. But on this one, I had a blooper on my nail. And so I had to like wipe off some of the foil. It was a polish with foil I was trying to use. And it wiped off some of the ink. So then I had to dilute it even more. And I actually ended up liking this nail more than this nail. Because the, the inks are more dispersed. And I feel like this these marble inks from the, the Favori gives that dispersed out look without having to um use as much acetone um so i love these inks honestly and with that top coat it really just set them off and so if you guys are in the market for some new marble inks and also some very unique colors um like i said i don't think i've seen many marble inks that come come with like th this color range um i would recommend this these are really nice um and again they're made in Tokyo. um I've, i'm really becoming a really big fan of the supplies that are offered from sweetie nail supply they're unique they're different and they perform really well um i thought i wasn't going to like the wateriness of them but it just made marbling that much easier in my opinion um because again it, it gave me that look where i had to kind of use a lot of acetone to get a really dispersed out look it did that without having to um it did that without having to use that much acetone so I, a huge fan i'm excited to try more products not only from this brand but also from the company sweetie nail supply again another special shout out for you all for sending this over for review absolutely love them i was able to create some really cute nail art designs with them just I, i'm in love these are perfect for like the summertime just i mean super cute super cute um so yeah i also have a discount code with sweetie nail supply like i said in case you all are interested in shopping their website want to say some coin i am going to leave that discount uh, code here on the screen as well as in the description box below i definitely think these are worth having in your collection for sure um and they have a lot of different sets of these marble inks um i saw that they had some bright vibrant ones they had some deeper toned ones so there's a wide variety a good selection um definitely something for everybody on there so i love that uh, but yeah let me know you all's thoughts have you all tried this brand the favorite um how was your experience with marbling the nails out um, have you all shopped Sweetie Nail Supply? If so, what's been your experience so far? Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of the company. And so, yeah, um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day.